Okay, guys, it is the next day. Um, we are going to get started on this. Um, rinsing that last part, or that not the last one, but the uh, third part of this first section. There is our silver from the bigger drop of the first four batches. That needs to be filtered, and then we can go ahead and drop that. That's actually part of those big guys right there. So I'm getting some water heated up. Um, we're going to get this cleaned off. Get it cleaned up and get it in there in the jar and see what we get out of it. When these guys settle, as you can see, I stirred them up one more time to uh, get everything packed down and let it all settle out, which we're getting a pretty good settle line in them right now. But when those get settled out, then we will do the same thing we've been doing over and over. Uh, there is our cleaning acid so you can see um, what I was talking about at the end of the last video about doing a final cleanup you can see right there that uh, there was more stuff in there even after we dropped it and it looked good then so always remember do your final cleanup get your silver pure from as pure as you can get it so I'm not gonna bore you I'm gonna go to work and uh, we'll get back at you in a bit okay guys I am now going to show you what happens when you have to stop and go do something and come back and it's freezing cold and you get in a hurry you can see how nasty this was our nastiest batch this was the one that had the copper and whatever and I started going too fast because I was in a hurry and you can see how nasty that little bit of acid is already so you know this is a nasty batch but my burner which is not my good one it burned out this is a crappy one and you can't regulate it really good so what ended up happening was is it heated up too fast with the acid in it this is a very fine powder as you can see and this is what happens see that that came from right there it actually blew out the bottom of the beaker so it is probably 20 degrees out here right now I'm gonna quit for the night um, I just wanted to show you don't get in a hurry I just ruined a $20 beaker because I got in a hurry so we'll be back at it tomorrow well good morning everybody it is actually two days since our little beaker incident happened um, yesterday it was just freezing freezing cold and sleet and rain out here and I just decided that uh, I was just gonna stay in I'm just wasn't gonna come out and work on that it was just too cold um, fortunately I was out here which is why I say don't you know try not to leave your stuff alone when I heard this crack so no silver came out you can see nothing even came out here um, I did get a little bit of silver in the bottom of this acid jar when I was pouring it off simply because I was pouring it out of the beaker um, I'm gonna go ahead and get something else set up to get this cleaned up and all my thousand milliliter beakers are tied up and now I'm down to just one after breaking this one so I did order some hopefully by Friday they will be here so I'm going to get some water boiling so we can rinse this again and uh, start our process over. Like I said, this is what happens when you get in a hurry. And then I lost a day to the sleet and the rain. I still need to get that filtered and get this stuff siphoned off so that we can do a rinse and acid wash on it. So I got a lot to do today. Um, I'll get back to you periodically and show you what's going on. So we'll see you in a bit okay guys we're starting our cleanup again nice and slow I got everything warmed up before I did this um, like I said luckily I heard this go and this piece didn't actually break out until after I got it set down in that pot so we did not lose any silver but we did lose a beaker so just remember don't get in a hurry because that just added $20 to my cost. 
So we're going to get this cleaned up. We're keeping this warm up here because um, it is still pretty cold out here. The sun's coming and going. So I'm going to finish cleaning this up, do some filtering and some other stuff, and we'll be back at you guys later on. Okay, guys, we got our next batch dried. Um, this was batch one and two. This had just a, a tiny bit of copper showing in it. Um, we started with 223, or excuse me, we started with 278 grams. Our yield was 223.14, which makes it about 80% pure, which is in line. So we're holding so far right at about 80%. This batch, like I said, I expected a bit more. Um, this is the tungsten and that. The tungsten, I actually, we did good on. I only expected uh, around 50% from that. So we did good here. This batch, 77%. That's right around 80%. So we're okay there. Um, again, this is, I had to change jars. This is his stuff that he sent for me to re-refine. This is what we're refining. So I'm going to go ahead and add batch 1 and 2 to this. So right now we're at 148.66, 108.14, and 223.14. So that's where we are right now. I actually have batch number six drying. So if we pull somewhere around 80% on that, in that vicinity, we should get, you know, 300 and something grams out of that batch. Alrighty guys, I'm going to go ahead and pour this in the jar and uh, we're going to get back outside and finish drying that other batch off and filtering off our first run of those big contacts. So we'll be back at you later. Okay guys, just stepping in for a second to show you where we're at. Um, this is our second batch of the big contacts. They are almost gone. Uh, just a little bit more and they'll be finished up. Um, over here is all our solution so far, or our copper nitrate from our silver drops. Um, this is our rinse water, which I am reducing down up here. I'm going to reduce it down as much as I can reduce it. Then we'll add it to this and do a test on it to make sure that there's no more silver in there. Um, basically, that's about where we are right now. That green over there is our pour-off acids from the, um, you know, from cleaning it up with the hydrochloric. So you can see that there was still some copper and some other crap in there. So as we move along a little bit, like I said, I'm not going to bore you with all this stuff. This just takes a lot of time, and that's really it. So as we get to it, we'll be weighing a little bit more silver. Um, we still have one batch of them bad boys to do and then all that will be done then we're going to move on to our filaments and see what we get out of those so we will be back at you guys in a bit well guys it's a little bit after eight and here we go again <laughs> so i guess for today i'm just going to go ahead and continue evaporating off this stuff i'm not even going to attempt to filter that it's uh too cold so I will just come out periodically we got almost two gallons evaporated down one more to go then we'll add it to here but for now I'm going back inside good morning Ebony what are you doing you out here helping or just getting in the way yeah, I know, just getting in the way. Well, hey guys, it is a couple days later again. I don't know if you can see the deer way out back in the field. Uh, it is a very cold, cloudy, dreary morning. I don't know if we're going to get snow again or not. I uh, just wanted to update you with where we are. Um, I had to stop for a couple days because I had to get my dad's apartment cleared out. Um, but anyhow, we are continuing to rinse, or not rinse, but, uh, evaporate off our rinse water so we can add it to that big glass container over there. 
Um, that's actually almost four gallons of rinse water. We've got it down to about seven cups right now. I'm going to take it down a couple more and then we'll put it in there because it did test in this batch. I did get some positive. I know I showed you before, but we did get some positive tests for silver chloride. So when all the dissolving and rinsing is done, we'll actually move over to this thing and uh, hit it with some salt water and see if we can push any more silver out. Um, I believe it was Platinum Skies that said in one of the comments to, uh, you know, about testing it with the salt water or hydrochloric acid. I normally do that. Um, and that down there under that five gallon bucket, that is all copper nitrate. It's void of silver. Um, I normally do test the solutions. I don't, you know, usually show it, but uh, I do test them to make sure that they're void of any more precious metals as much as I can. You know, now this is a home lab, so there's only so much you can do. But we get pretty close. We get pretty close to getting everything. Um, I'm filtering off the last of the second batch right now of the big contacts. We're fixing to get those started. And let me put this on, uh, a couple things I wanted to show you. Let me put this camera on close up and uh, I'll get right back to you. Okay, what I wanted to show you was overnight it got really, really cold. Um, and I want you to see, I don't know how well you can see them in there, but there are some beautiful bladed crystals that formed in the bottom of our second batch of the silver nitrate. This is off the big contacts. But I don't know. Like I said, I'm hoping it shows up pretty good. <laughs> All you got to do really is add that or warm this up and add warm water or hot water to it. In this case, warm water so you don't blow your beakers up. And it'll just dissolve those crystals. But I just wanted to show you how pretty they are. And one last thing before I toss this one in with the other batch. Let me get over here in the sunlight. This is the big contacts. I don't know how well you can see that. I'm trying to, but they are actually in layers. You see how they dissolve off in layers? And there is a very bright silver metallic -y layer between each layer of silver. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And when they dissolve, they dissolve in these sheets. Now that could be, I don't know how to pronounce it, rutium, 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 anyway, it's like, it's kind of, I guess, close to like a rare earth metal or something. I'm not positive about it. Um, that was also mentioned in the comments. Um, you would think it would be worth a lot more than it is, but it's not. Or it could be palladium or something else so we are definitely going to test all this stuff at the end for see if there's any other precious metals in it uh, let's see I think that's about the wrap up this was our powders that are left over so far that we're going to put in aqua regia and our filters and then we'll do that at the end to check for precious metals so I just wanted to get you up to date show you these really pretty bladed crystals in the bottom of this 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 no offense to Stephen, but this <laughs> this is not his fault that this refine has been a chore it's just everything that's going on right now and the cold weather and you know moving my dad's stuff out of his apartment and get him set up you know in the home he has to be there now he absolutely requires 24 hour a day care and it's a lot of times they're telling me it takes two people to take care of him so, I mean, we just, after this last hospital visit, things aren't looking so great. But anyway, I just wanted to show you where we are. When this gets filtered off, we'll add it to this beaker. Then we'll drop this guy down here. And then we'll drop these two over here. So, I wanted to show you where we are. That's reducing. We're fixing to start those. And then we're going to get into our... Uh, filaments so we'll be back at you okay everybody as you can see it is a super bright sunshiny day um, we are actually getting some things done today it's very tolerable to be out here it's almost nice um, that is our third batch of 
the large contacts finishing up I actually put uh, a half of a round in there weighted out to add to it to use up the nitric so that is actually my silver that I'll take back out at the beginning when this is dry before we do our weight on it because I want the nitric spent um, this is batch one currently dropping um, as you can see we're getting a nice even reaction out of that so that is going down batch two is up here ready to be dropped after I filter it one more time you can see we're getting a little bit of a separation line in there so we will filter that one more time and uh, we're gonna go inside and get a weight on bag number six which was the last of the first four batches so this is all the contacts all the contacts are dissolved and getting ready to be dropped uh, we're gonna start working on our other stuff our filaments and do some experiments with that in a bit so let me go in and get batch number four which was bag number six weighed up and see what our percentage came out on that so we'll be back at you when we get inside okay guys we are uh, back inside that's his powder from the other from his first refine uh, this is currently our what we have out of the first three batches this was our large batch that was pretty much one type of contact um, it was 445 grams it was batch number six or bag number six whatever you want to call it, it was actually the fourth batch but it is completely dried and I have weighed it out like I said I'm not going to show go through the number thing with you every time we started with 445 grams of the contacts we ended up with 359.18 grams in here um, it turns out it was about 81 percent pure which is in line we're looking for 80 percent at least 80 to 90 percent in some cases um, we lost 85.82 grams out of this batch which was the leftover powder that you've seen that's you know at the bottom um, plus whatever copper and lead was in it so I'm going to go ahead and add this one to the jar and as you can see we have a beautiful once again a beautiful bright silver we'll add this one to the jar so there is our our silver so far got beautiful beautiful color so we are doing good so as of right now we have 148.66 plus 108.14 plus 223.14 plus 359.18 and that is 800 almost a kilo of almost a kilo of silver we have 839.12 grams 8 39.12 so let's check our average yield just for the heck of it so far equals right now we are running at 78.70 about 78.8 percent for the average of everything and that's with tungsten that is really good so we're running about call it 78 about 79 percent we're really close to 79 percent which is right on the money considering we did have a batch of tungsten like i said so guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up um we know where we're at right now as it stands right now we have uh 839 grams of refined silver so we should get at least that or better We'll probably get should do a little better on the bigger ones i think they were a cleaner contact but i don't know i've never done that size contact before so we'll see what happens but i'm pretty sure we're definitely gonna i'm just knocking it i'm not thumping the thump to drive you guys crazy i'm knocking the silver back down off of the plastic um so we'll see what we get out of that batch like i said the first one's dropping the second one's going to be filtered one more time and the third one is finishing up 
So we'll get back to you when we start on those. Or not when we start on them. Actually, when we get a weight on them and get them in here, I'm not going to put you through that. So we're going to, our next project is actually going to be the filaments. We're going to see what we can do with those filaments. So we'll see you guys in the next video.